Hey everyone, it's Doug McGuff with Ultimate Exercise Body by Science and DrMcGuff.com. Before we get started, please remember to hit subscribe and hit the like button. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about signaling versus inroad. So I've always preached that um, the stimulus that we're seeking is inroad or the momentary weakening of muscle, but what I'm coming to find in my own training, and I'll explain how, is that I believe signaling, biological signaling, is equally important. Um, I've noted this when I've recorded myself training or looking at videos on the internet of other high intensity trainers that are undergoing a hard work set. And I see in myself and I've seen in others behaviors that signal submission or weakness. And I think that's a very bad signal to inculcate during the middle of a set because I think it entrains hormonal and biological responses to those signalings that are very undesirable and undermine the purpose of the set. Um, to illustrate the power of signaling, I highly recommend, and everyone's probably already watched it, is the TED Talk given by Amy Cuddy on the power of posture. But in that regard, one thing I noticed in myself and with other trainees when I'm watching training on YouTube or the internet is that as the set progresses into the really hard portion of the set, the last couple of reps, um, commonly I'll see in myself that I start to register a facial expression that looks like anguish or like I'm being tortured or um, subjugated in some way. The other thing that I notice is that the, a positive repetition will complete, but then during the negative where there's a little bit of a rest, but you'll see the person come out of neutral head position, throw their head back, look up to the sky as if they're praying to God for help or something of that nature, but it appears very anguished and very submissive in nature, and I believe that that is the first signal that undermines the set. In contrast to that, I would recommend that uh, that if you get a chance to go to Doug Holland's Instagram page, look at Doug Holland training. His head is always maintained in a neutral position and he's already, um, I'm sorry, always has a very aggressive facial expression and orientation towards what he's doing. Um, failure or approaching muscular failure should never be um, a sense of being vanquished or defeated. Instead, you need to make your focus, a focal point directly in front of you, and think of getting to the point of momentary muscular fatigue as you being a predator that's focused and chasing down an animal, like a cheetah chasing an antelope. You're going after failure with that kind of mindset. So when we talk about proper, proper posture and training, it's not just for safety purposes. Super slow philosophy puts a big, big emphasis on neutral head position for safety purposes. But for me, I'm putting a big emphasis on that for purposes of proper biological signaling about what you're doing and aggression. So what I ask people to do is to pick a spot that represents a neutral head position, a fist distance between your chest and the top of your sternum. From there, train your eyes on a focal point directly in front of you during the set and never deviate from that. Focus on it. And your facial expression doesn't have to be slack or relaxed. In fact, I prefer it to be somewhat aggressive, like a laser-like focus, a little bit of a tooth grit, but aggression all the way through to the end of the set. Because I think that that sends a proper aggressive biological signal that's going to set up the appropriate hormonal cascade to get the absolute most out of the inroad stimulus. Um, so I just wanted to drop that thought on you guys, have you apply it in your own training and see what you think about it. So for Ultimate Exercise, Body by Science, and DrMcGuff.com, I'll talk to you the next time. Thanks.